Hi everyone, just wanted to do a quick post on the quality of toolbox talks and the importance of them. So today when I went out on site to, to see one of my clients, one of the things that came up was that they were delivering toolbox talks on site and the people on site weren't really understanding what information they'd been given. And the reason for this is because they've been given a piece of A4 paper with a toolbox talk written on it and then just asked to sign the bottom rather than being actually delivered to them. Now, for those of you who don't know, a toolbox talk is a little bit like an informal health and safety meeting. It's usually between five and 10 minutes long and it covers things like safe working practices and legal information, hazards on site, things like that. So the most building companies and contractors will have a bank of toolbox talks that they deliver and go through them at maybe one a week or a few a month, however they plan that out just to give the workers on site some information. But often what is happening and I'm seeing more and more of is that this is a tick in a box exercise rather than delivering information and confirming understanding and having the most important thing, which is that two way conversation between the workers and the management team to, to confirm understanding. So I've got a bit of a practical help for you, bit of a information I wanted to share. And that's if you're delivering a toolbox talk on site, and this is absolute number one paramount is understand the topic you're delivering, which sounds crazy, but it's true. A lot of toolbox talks don't get delivered properly because the person who's responsible for delivering them doesn't know that subject in and out. So if you're a site manager and you come up on a subject that you want to deliver on site, then make sure that you recap it before you deliver it. If it's not, that particular subject isn't something you're familiar with. So say if that's like nesting birds or something and you're not 100% sure on that subject, then just recap it yourself first and get the information so you're confident to deliver it on site. And then the second thing to do when you're delivering a toolbox talk is have it in a variety of different ways. Most people don't want to read an A4 sheet of paper with loads and loads of writing on it particularly if the contract is on site, the practicality of it is if you've employed subcontractors on your site, what they actually want to do is crack on with their work because that's what earns them money. So they'll just sign anything just to be able to get on because time is money. So you want to be making this something that's at the start of a shift. It's brief, it's concise, it's to the point, and it's you've got it available in a variety of different ways because you need to make sure that they've had that piece of information. And so maybe a short video, or a presentation which is timed where you can deliver the information just have a little bit of a conversation at the end of it to confirm their understanding keeps it all nice and neat and and tidy in terms of time management but also make sure that message has gone across and all the data has actually been given over and the, they've had their opportunity to question anything they're unsure about the next thing is that you pr try and pro provide practical examples of how um, impact on the people that you're delivering it to. So if you've got labourers or operatives on site and you're talking to them about the Health and Safety at Work Act, nobody would actually expect you to sit and read all of that legislation to them and then, you know, just to sign the back of a form. What they'd expect of you is to give them some general scope, some general requirements, how it would impact them, who is it there to protect, how does it work, just an overview and also give them examples of it for their for their for their work activities so they understand um, and, and that's generally what any trade is going to want so if it's if you're doing a toolbox talk on work at height and access equipment then talk about the access you've got on site talk about how it's inspected talk about how it's signed off talk about what to avoid if it's not been you know what to look out for and, you, and make it site specific. Don't just talk about the general toolbox talk itself. Talk about what's actually happening on the project they're working on because that way they're going to retain that information. It's going to be useful to them. And that's the whole point is that their day is safer. They've learnt some information, but they can also contribute to the safety of your, your project. And then the last thing to do is to get that confirmed understanding, to get that registered done, to get that documentation. And that isn't to get the tick in the box. And the registration for me, how I like to use it is when I get a register back with everybody who sat through the toolbox talk, I know who I've captured with that piece of information. And if I've got people that have been off sick that day 
or have not been available for whatever reason because they came into work past the time the toolbox talk was delivered. I know I need to ca catch up with that at some point. I know that they've missed it and it's some, some information that in the future we're going to sit down together and we're going to go through it again. So that's really why you want to be looking at how you want to be looking at your registers. It's not um, an arse covering exercise. It should be that this person can now have that little piece of information. I know I've missed them and these people I've captured. So one of the things I'm going to be doing going forward to try and support people with their toolbox talks is I'm going to be doing lives and I'm going to be doing um, videos like this that you can play to your guys on site. They're going to be quite brief maybe five to ten minutes in duration, probably most of them will be five minutes. I'm also going to give you the written guidance if you want to give them something to go away with as well. So you can download a PDF of the Toolbox Talk and I'm going to put the register with it for you to capture it in your records. But the most important thing, and this is absolutely the most important thing, is at the end of somebody watching a Toolbox Talk or reading a Toolbox Talk, is you have that conversation with them. You want them to be able to ask questions. You want to be able to give those practical examples and you want to open that communication flow because there's no such thing as a stupid question. The only stupid questions are the ones that aren't asked. So that's the idea behind it is that you get that com those conversations flowing to, just to make your sites and more projects more safe. So I'll be dropping a link onto the PTL SheQ Facebook page and the first Toolbox Talk will be out this week. I'm going to do one a week for a year I hope you're going to find them useful. But if on any of them you have any questions or anything, any comments you want to add, please feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try and come back to you. But also try and use it to share experiences or talk about other things you might know. Okay, well, I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to sharing my toolbox talks with you.